friends welcome to this lecture on uh, rapid elasticity which is our fourth essential characteristics of uh, nist so we'll study into uh, dig deep dive into what is a rapid elasticity and how it helps again uh, both service providers and the consumers so rapid elasticity if i'll go by the definition of nist which says that capabilities or the features can be capabilities in terms of services can be elastically provisioned and released or in some cases it should be automatically means whatever the services or we are looking for can be elastically provisioned and in some cases it should be automatic without the intervention means we can apply a some kind of logic wherein uh, the services should be uh, provisioned automatically with the help of a logic i'll give you an example over here to scale rapidly outward and inward depends on the demand of the customer to the consumers the capability available for provisioning often appear to be unlimited and can be appropriated in any quantity at any point of time see rapid elasticity is let's say if there is a huge spike coming in and in if i want to serve uh, the my customers depending on the spike then i should be able to get those resources from the uh, from the cloud vendor just think for an example that okay big billion day sale is coming or then black friday is coming right so in all those cases what a decade back what amazon or organizations used to do they used to provision huge infra at the back end to to really serve the kind of traffic they 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 imagined on that particular day so let's say if i know that okay tomorrow is a big billion day or a diwali sale as per indian festival or diwali or holi or a new year or a christmas sale is coming right so i can i can prospect that kind of traffic which would be coming to my websites in that case what i'll do is i generally the the vendors what they used to do they used to provision a huge amount of infra at the back end so let's say if there is a spike comes they should be able to serve those customers and get get those particular uh, amount from the whatever the sales they would do right but in the past we have seen i'll also share one example with you that at number of point the kind of traffic which uh, which was sent to those particular giants was really huge that the kind of infra they prepared for themselves was not even sufficient so in that case what happened was they actually lost those particular customers and they lost that particular of uh, that particular sale on that day so it was a kind of a loss to the to the consumers but with the help of cloud computing and if you will look for this rapid elasticity feature within the cloud provider then in that case if there is a need to serve those customers or that particular spike cloud provider will be able to handle or will be able to provide the backend infra for you so let's say like i said uh, you know there is a normal business uh, bau or a business activities are running and you know that okay this will be the only kind of uh, servers or the infra which is required at the back end to serve the business then you can continue using that particular infra and you will be charged for that now let's say you know that okay after 10 days some diwali sale or new year sale is coming so in that case you can provision the infra or you can automatically set that particular workflow or a logic so let's say if uh, my cpu goes uh, more than 80% or 70% then the automatically a server should be provisioned at the back end so in that case cloud services they will be automatically able to provision a particular vm or a particular service for you with the help of the configuration which you have decided so that whenever there is a spike or there is a load so in that case you should be able to get those particular customers or that particular sale so and in case let's say after two days or after uh, new year sale you know you really don't require that particular infra so accordingly you can deprovision that kind of 
so infra so this is really a very solid characteristics of uh, a rapid elasticity so you can just uh, you know imagine from an organization that the kind of infra they use to provision so huge amount of uh, you can say a capex was required to prepare to buy that infra then really uh, you know the kind of expenditure was there uh, to have those engineers in place and uh, to do that integration providing like the ip addresses firewalls and all those things creating vlans and putting those servers into those so that uh, the a traffic could be uh, handled but let's say if you know the worst case scenario that the okay, traffic is more then apart from your whole arrangement the the customers or the you can say that organizations which run these kind of business they used to suffer but with the help of rapid elasticity this is uh, this is really helpful so you can say that uh, there are <coughs> uh, other things uh, which i say is uh, you know it is very critical to cost reduction in case of uh, in case of cloud vendors right so let's say if uh, if the infra really is not required so you can just deprovision those this particular services or that particular infra you'll not be charged for that but in let's say if it is the case with your typical traditional it environment then you have already paid in advance to procure that infra right but in case of cloud so it is like it will automatically adjust if you have used for 10 hours you'll be charged for 10 hours only so similarly like you have applied the logic to increase the infra you can apply the logic to decrease the infra let's say if my cpu uh, percentage goes less than 20 percent then decrease one server or decrease three servers so i can apply all these logics within the uh, within the uh, uh, my cloud environment so just think from the cloud consumer will again check for both the perspectives if these kind of features are provided to you and capacity is really unlimited you'll be able to serve your customers without having the capital expenditures in procuring that particular infra and again you'll be having happy customers and uh, all your needs are served similarly if you are a cloud service provider if your backend infra is so strong in that case you a variety of giants can come to you and they can have their needs or um, to really serve their traffic so just think uh, that the customers like netflix uh, the kind of streaming application uh, or the streaming company which provides a live streaming of data so all these organizations are using the cloud in front they are able to support their million customers with using different devices right so just think the power of a cloud uh, these days so you know the two factors like i said uh, one is critical to cost reduction and time to market means quickly you'll be able to provision the infra and you'll be able to uh, serve the needs uh, as per the market demand so what is um, okay so like i said i'll share you one uh, one story which uh, which will really help you to understand the feature of rapid elasticity so i, I still remember at, um, about two or three years back there was this uh, this uh, Flipkart e-commerce giant, their owners basically sent an apology email to the customers because there was they claimed that okay some big billion day sale uh, would be coming where they'll be offering huge uh, discounts to the customer. But happened was that day was that they provisioned the infra they they provisioned the infra to to meet the demands like they expected but the kind of traffic which uh, which came to their website was was really unexpected and the kind of infra they were having was not able to support those that kind of traffic and uh, there was a huge loss in sales and in customers so as a result they sent this particular email you can go through this that uh, we saw an unprecedented uh, interest in our products and traffic like never before we also realized that we were not adequately prepared for the sheer scale of the event so you can imagine that uh, I, I still remember the details of this email that okay they, they said that okay they, they provisioned some 50 or uh, 5000 servers at the back end just to handle the spike but the spike which came was uh, was unbelievable and uh, they were not able to handle uh, that particular traffic so, so you can imagine that uh, you know the kind of loss uh, would have been to the organization on that particular day so after another two three years i i again heard the story that uh, really to reap these kind of benefits because they offer these kind of gents uh, uh, you know traffic 
you know keep on increasing and the customer base is still increasing increasing so they flipkart actually move to the uh microsoft cloud to really provide the services you can see that you know microsoft has just landed a big cloud deal by signing up india's largest e-commerce marketplace flipkart so they they took the decision that okay they'll be using the cloud services to to have the infra and provide services to the customer so just to share an example that uh, you know now they can use the rapid elasticity features of the cloud uh, wherein in such a huge demand in case if it comes microsoft azure would be able to provide that so this is it uh, in this lecture my dear friends hope you have really enjoyed this lecture thank you for watching meet you in the next lecture